Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're going to look at Angular 13 forms, only the radio button. This is a continuation of a previous video I just created. It's labeled here as part six. Open up a command prompt and then navigate to where part six is located on your local computer and then type in code dot. And you can see our tree from our previous program. And this is what we're going to edit. Open up a new terminal and type ng generate interface grade. That is our next interface that we're going to be working with. In the explorer tree, look for the file grade.ts. Let's open that file. Let's add the following to the grade interface. School grade, it's of type string. School year, it's a type string. And ID is a string. We have to modify the interface basic model. Look on line nine. We are going to put school grade question mark. That means it's nullable and this data type is string. Let's add that. Let's now open the file app component.ts. That's labeled with one. On two, let's import grade. Look on line 33. In the object basic model, we're going to add a new attribute, a school grade, and we're going to initialize it with a value of nine. When the form first loads, it will pick ninth grade. Underneath basic model, look on line 36. Let's populate grades. Grades is an array of grade. Notice that we have four entries, freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. Let's get all that typed in from line 36 to 41. When the user clicks on the cancel button, I want to set school grade to undefined. That will make sure that no radio button is selected. Make that change on line 108 and we're done. In the Explorer, click on the file appcomponent.html. The goal of this HTML from line 98 to 112 is to produce that line that just says just added. Notice has a label grade and then four radio buttons. As you can see on line 101, the data for those values freshman through senior actually comes from the object grades. On line 102, ending on 109, notice I'm giving you a balloon tip. Now look what I'm printing. Like when someone hovers it, I'm actually printing out the school year. On lines 104 to 108, I'm just creating a radio button and a label, but that all started on line 101 when I started that for loop. And there you have all the rules. Just get all this code typed in from line 98 to 112, and we are done with all of the programming. Now let's see what this app looks like. Let us open up a new terminal and type in ng serve minus o. And here we have our feature. First thing I'll show you is the balloon help. That is from Bootstrap. Notice it tells us ninth grade. You know, not everybody knows freshmen through junior, especially people that are from not from North America. And then our next feature is when I hit a cancel, notice that the uh, radio buttons are all set to clear. I can then select one, cancel. And lastly, when I hit the save button, remember that created an output object. Then we'll come over here and load up and notice that our grade is ninth. If I, of course, hit sophomore, grade is 10th. There you have it. And there you go, team. We modified an existing application, added an interface, modified an existing interface, added a radio button element to our form using a list of objects, and then tied it all together. Now, this type of programming happens a lot, that is, making changes to existing software. For some developers, this is their job. It's called code maintenance. They become the product champion. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. And that's all I have, team. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you back in my next video. Adios.